like children? I do if they're properly cooked. <laughs> they have no more case against you than the sheep has against the butcher. Oh. Give it a thought. I've changed everything. Standing in a hole. All five of them hit me at once. There was once a poor boy, and he left his country home. And he came to the city to look for work. He promised his mom pa. He would lead a sinless life and always shun the fatal curse of drink. Once in the city, he got a situation in a quarry, and there he made the acquaintance of some college students. He little thought they were demons, for they wore the best of clothes. But the clothes do not always make the gentlemen. So they tempted him to drink, and they said he was a coward. I got a million of them, a million of them. <laughs> very good, very good, Charles. You must come down with me after the show to the lumberyard and ride piggyback on the buzz saws. Nobody's gonna find me after the show. So. Uh, yes, they are. You'll be hanging in my window as a Venetian blind. Let me congratulate you. I'm proud to be your son. My boy, you took the voice right out of my mouth. I'm ashamed to be your father. <laughs> General is always annoyed, but you mustn't be impressed by it. I've seen him in kilts. He has knobby knees. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether that is nobler in the mind, to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing, end them. To die, to sleep, no more. And by a sleep, to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. It is a consummation devoutly to be wished. 
to die, to sleep, a chance to dream. Aye, there's the rub. My dear Adelaide, how happy I am to bump into you. Exactly the same. Charming, lovely lady I saw step off that stagecoach from St. Louis in this town years ago. Time has stood still with you. I haven't seen anything quite so stylish as that since I attended the governor's ball in St. Louis last winter. How your heart must ache for the charms of that delightful city. I would consider it an honor if you'd join me inside for some slight refreshment. Two dollars? Isn't, isn't that rather a steep price for whiskey? Is it? Ah, uh, like everything but yourself, dear lady. You're going to be very much alone, my dear madame. This is the end. If you were a man, I'd break your neck for that. As it is, I'll thank you to shut your stupid mouth. And as for you, I've always thought a good lashing with a buggy whip would benefit you immensely. Here's the smallest giant in the world. It's hopeless, 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 idiotic, humiliating. Can't be defended. Sad. Every time you turn around, expect to see me. There's one time you'll turn around and I'll be there. Slap some bacon on a biscuit and let's go. We're burning daylight. Instead of it being an English drawing room drama, I've made it a circus picture. What do you mean I can't do that? I can do anything I want to do. Was I in here last night and did I spend a $20 bill? Yeah. Oh boy, what a load that is off my mind. <laughs> I thought I'd lost it.
of the beautiful blonde woman stare, which drove me to drink. That's the one thing I'm indebted to her for. <laughs> I hope it's all right with you, I am here. I don't want to be no fourth wheel. You like children? I do if they're properly cooked. Painting, if it's any good, is a love affair. I never heard anyone talk like that before. Oh, well, uh, there, there aren't many people you can talk to this way. some wrong information. I'm jealous of anything or anybody that takes your mind off me for a single second. You know, I have the strangest feeling that this is the beginning of a beautiful hatred. Everything under control. had been fitted out as an efficient floating laboratory. But when the weather was good, it was topside, where most of the identification processes were carried out. Deckers, crayons, or brushes were always moving. And in this instance, his model was too. Now that I'm here and see what's to be had, I shall dally in the valley. And believe me, I can dally. Have you any last wish? Yes, I'd like to see Paris before I die. Philadelphia will do. No only way to play it, she meets the wrong trip. Are you busy? I'm about as busy as a pickpocket at a nudist colony. <laughs> The more haste, the less speed. I'll be down there. 